Welcome to the Fame Journey, where we uncover the untold stories behind the headlines. Today, we're diving into a sensational legal battle involving England footballer Kyle Walker and influencer Lauren Goodman. This fierce confrontation, hidden from the public eye until now, reveals a tumultuous saga of financial disputes, personal vendettas, and dramatic courtroom showdowns. Buckle up as we expose the extraordinary details of this high-stakes child maintenance battle that has gripped the UK behind closed doors. While the world's media was transfixed by the high-profile Wagatha Christie trial between Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy, another equally intense WAG war was unfolding in the shadows. This secret legal struggle, involving Manchester City defender Kyle Walker, reached its boiling point just weeks ago in a courtroom not far from where Rooney and Vardy had their public showdown. The details of this case, which have been closely guarded under strict confidentiality orders, have now been laid bare, revealing a tale of extravagant demands, personal betrayal, and financial warfare. Kyle Walker, 34, a prominent figure in English football, found himself embroiled in a bitter dispute over maintenance support for the children he fathered with Lauren Goodman, 33, an influencer with a history of controversy. For years after the birth of their first child, a son named Cairo, it emerged that Walker had also fathered a daughter with Goodman, leading to a series of explosive legal battles. His wife, Annie Kilner, 32, threw him out of their 3.5 million pounds marital home in Cheshire, prompting Walker to rent a nearby property for 20,000 pounds per month as he fought to save his marriage. The court hearings, shrouded in secrecy, have now revealed a litany of jaw-dropping demands from Goodman. She reportedly treated Walker like an open-ended checkbook, pressuring him to fund a 2.4 million pound mansion, demanding maintenance payments equating to a 350,000 pound salary and insisting on a £31,000 astroturf lawn for their daughter, who she claimed would become a future England women's football star. Goodman's extravagant requests extended to a £70,000 Mercedes for herself, another £30,000 car for her nanny, and monthly stipends for a hot tub, gardener, and cleaner, totaling several thousand pounds. Walker, earning a reported £160,000 a week, faced these demands with a mix of frustration and amusement. He quipped during the proceedings that if he were a painter and decorator, the situation would never have escalated to this extent. Despite his exasperation, Walker's character emerged relatively unscathed, with Judge Edward Hess describing him as grounded and reasonable. In contrast, Goodman was portrayed as a spendthrift, known for her lavish lifestyle and past legal troubles, including a prosecution for benefit fraud. The courtroom drama was punctuated with moments of humor and tension. Walker, dressed in a sharp black suit and still wearing his wedding ring, refused to make eye contact with Goodman, who arrived in a chaotic state, shouting at photographers. During the testimony, Walker highlighted the impracticality of some of Goodman's demands, such as her request for bespoke baby gates and a 33,000-pound air conditioning system for her mansion. His dry wit surfaced when he suggested using Dyson fans instead of installing an expensive cooling system and questioned the necessity of luxury leather sofas for children's rooms. The culmination of this legal battle came just days after England's defeat in the Euros final. Goodman had attempted to force Walker into court within 12 hours of the match, but the judge granted a brief adjournment. During the final showdown, Goodman wore a necklace with her children's initials and made a series of pointed remarks, including a dig at the England men's team. Despite her attempts to frame her actions as protective of her children, the judge ruled that her media interactions and public disclosures had already caused any potential harm to their privacy. Walker's wife, Annie, was notably absent from the proceedings, occupied with transporting their four children back from Germany. The court heard how Goodman's relentless pursuit of financial gain and attempts to spy on Walker's family had strained relations further. In one instance, Goodman contacted Walker's neighbor, asking her to record any arguments between Walker and his wife to gather evidence against them. In his judgment, Judge Hess sided with Walker on nearly every point, emphasizing his fair and generous approach throughout the ordeal. 
The ruling exposed Goodman's insatiable greed and manipulative tactics, highlighting her extravagant lifestyle and disregard for reasonable financial limits. Walker's legal victory, however, came at a significant personal and financial cost as he navigated the fallout from this scandal during the twilight years of his career. As we wrap up this riveting tale, it's clear that the drama surrounding Kyle Walker and Lauren Goodman is a stark reminder of the complexities and challenges faced by public figures. This case, hidden from the spotlight for so long, now stands as a testament to the intense pressures and personal struggles behind the glamorous facade of professional sports and social media fame. Thank you for joining us on the fame journey! Stay tuned for more deep dives into the stories that captivate and intrigue. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest episodes. Until next time!